right, today I'm reviewing the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, uh, share the video, or check out the links below, or check out my Patreon community. Okay, so this is something I first tried a couple years ago. I think it was a set of minis of them. They had like a mini one of this, a mini... Uh, ampule, a mini cleansing oil, and a mini toning toner from this brand, and I used them all up, and I really liked it, so then I picked this one up, and I can already tell uh, the bottle's a little opaque. It's almost gone, so I've really enjoyed this stuff, and uh, overall, I thought, chance to give it my review, so I haven't reviewed a ton from this brand, but they're continually coming out with new stuff, and a lot of it is pretty friendly for sensitive skin types, so good chance to give them a review. So, they say, enriched with 72% Centella Asiatica Extract, sourced from Madagascar. Have we ever been to Madagascar? No. Where is Madagascar? South Africa. Huh. Interesting. Madagascar. <laughs> Do they have, like, a big bug called, like, the Madagascar bug or something like that? I think, that, I think that's what they call them here. But I don't oh, know. okay. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I just, Madagascar, it stuck out of my head that... I haven't been there, but anyway, total sidetracked. Okay, source from Madagascar. This moisturizer soothes skin irritation while boosting skin's hydration levels. Contains four types of plant-based ceramides to fortify the skin barrier. Forming its gel-like texture glides on. Offers a cooling sensation to sensitive skin. So, first criteria is packaging. I like the packaging. Squeeze tube bottle. Slightly opaque, so you can tell when you're almost out, which is nice which I wish more brands would do because there's nothing more annoying than being out and then not having a backup of something you need your backup of. So, or you just have lots of backups. Uh, okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. When we get to fragrance, so they mention this formula's gel-like texture glides on smoothly and offers a cooling sensation. Typically, a cooling sensation in products is not a good thing. Typically, it's from some sort of ingredient that offers a tingle, which is from peppermint extract. It doesn't really have any noticeable scent. I do notice slightly the cooling thing with it. Not terribly so, but a little bit. So it does contain peppermint extract. It's not as bad or sensitizing as peppermint oil would be, but the extract still has some small remnants of oil in it because it's impossible to fully get it all out of there. So keep that in mind, uh, especially with lip balms. A lot of lip balms, when they say plumping effect or tingling effect, it's almost always like peppermint or menthol, which a lot of times the tingling isn't a good thing. The tingling is more irritation than anything else. So keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of the manufacturing location, this one's made in Korea, so uh, no issues at all with that. Uh, when we get to ease of use, uh, okay, so this does have a really nice gel texture to it. And I will say a little bit of it goes a long way. So love the texture. I love gel formulas. And you know what? Gel texture formulas are typically more geared towards like oilier skin types. But my dry skin just loves them. So anyway. So there we go. Wonderful. Little bit goes a long way. It absorbs pretty quickly. I will say it sets to kind of a radiant finish uh, once it soaks in. I mean it's not... Super shiny, it doesn't feel greasy, but it is a little bit of a shiny, radiant finish. So some people might not like that, but for me, I, I don't mind it as long as it's not feeling greasy. So keep that in mind. So you can use this uh, morning and evening after cleansing, toning, and serums. It tends to work well under sunscreen and makeup. Uh, and it also works well uh, over most serums, with the exception of certain serums I found that are oily or greasy feeling then this ends up looking and feeling kind of greasy. But otherwise, it's pretty easy to use. I like the texture of it. And uh, maybe for drier skin types that are looking for more of a glowy finish, it might be ideal for them. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, it works well under products without any pilling or anything like that. Um, okay, in terms of beneficial ingredients of this one. So obviously, the star of the show with this one is Centella. Centella Asiatica, it's a wonderful ingredient. It's great for soothing, it's great for wound healing, it's great for hydrating, it's a great antioxidant ingredient. Really great ingredient. You can't, I can't get enough of the stuff, it's amazing. So no issues with that. We've got Trellos, which is a humectant ingredient. 
We've got ginger root extract, which is an antioxidant. We've got licorice, which is soothing and brightening. We've got tranexamic acid, which is a brightening ingredient as well as an antioxidant ingredient. Tranexamic acid is a very interesting ingredient. If you haven't looked it up, look it up. It's There's a lot of history to it, and it's been used for lots of different reasons, which you may have never have guessed. So do some Googling on it. It's very interesting. Uh, okay, next up, we've got coptis, chinsis, root extract, which is another antioxidant. We've got cocoa extract, which is a skin conditioning ingredient. We've got biosaccharide gum, which is a soothing and humectant ingredient. We've got sodium hyaluronate, a humectant, beta-glucan, soothing, antioxidant, humectant. Then we've got those ceramides they mentioned. We've got ceramide EOP, ceramide NS, ceramide NP, ceramide AP, phytosphignazine, and cholesterol. They're all skin identical ingredients. They all help with barrier repair and keeping your skin hydrated. So very nice ingredient list. I like seeing humectants. I like seeing identical ingredients to the skin, bear repairing, and uh, other brightening ingredients. So I did a very nice job. No issues at all with that. Wonderful. Okay, in terms of animal testing, uh, skin 1004 is cruelty-free per uh, PETA's website. So I assume, I, I didn't see anything specifically on their website, although they've got the name of their website on the back. But usually if PETA says they're cruelty-free, they're usually cruelty-free. So no issues with that. Uh, okay, in terms of performance, it's a very nice gel cream. I would say it's geared towards a dry or normal skin uh, just because of the finish. A lot of people that have oilier skin types don't like a radiant finish. They like a matte finish. Uh, but I could see it doesn't feel greasy, so perhaps oilier skin, if you're looking for a glowy finish, maybe it'll work well. For my dry skin, I appreciate the finish. I like it. It's very nice. Nice glow without feeling greasy at all. So, um, yeah, so it is a little bit tacky feeling, but typically you're going to be applying a sunscreen over it, so it won't be a big issue. Um, in terms of it being soothing, they call, can't claim it to be a soothing cream. I find it more of a moisturizing cream, although because a soothing cream that contains peppermint extract is a little bit strange. To include something that has a potential irritation factor in something they call soothing, a little off to me, a little strange. It does include some soothing ingredients such as centel and beta-glucan, but they've been better off leaving the peppermint out of it totally. But what can I do about it? Nothing. Uh, okay, for acne-prone skin, we've only got two ingredients of note, and that is C-teryl alcohol and steric acid, so not terribly of concern. Uh, okay, in terms of price, so this is the full size, which is bigger than the average product. It's uh, 75 milliliters or 2.53 ounces, and it retails for about $22, so not terrible at all. Pretty good deal overall. Uh, 22 bucks is pretty affordable, and that's, you know, a lot of times you can find it on sale too. And this brand is on sale often, so I think pretty much all the stuff I've tried from them I've gotten at usually like around 15 bucks or something like that, so wait for it to be on sale if you're uh, interested in it. Uh, okay, last but not least, the It Factor. Uh, I really like the moisturizer from this line. I will say if you have super sensitive skin, they're Pro by uh, Pro Sica line that comes in the dark brown packaging. It's probably going to be a little bit more sensitive skin friendly. Um, but this stuff is very nice, very jelly, wonderful jelly texture, which is great. Um, so obviously I've repurchased it because I started with the mini size and liked it enough to purchase this size. So I'll really enjoy it. Um, I see it as pretty versatile um, product. It adds some moisture skin as well as some calming ingredients. Peppermint obviously is my biggest issue with this, but overall it's a nice product. So with a 10 being a perfect score, this one an 8. Uh, a lot to like. My biggest issue again, that peppermint extract. They should have left it out. Could have been a holy grail product, but maybe they'll change it. I don't know. So... Uh, anyway, interested hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.